Hello everyone, welcome to one more video here at Capella Bus. Uh, and in this video, we're gonna show you guys how we did remove two steps on the back of the bus, like the final one third of the bus, uh, it's taller. Uh, and they do that because of the engine and also the transmission that goes in there. But there was a little bit of space that we could just move the low floor back a little bit. And we did this because we have no under storage in this bus. Uh, and then we had to put our gray water tank somewhere. And uh, we wanted to be uh, in a place that it was insulated and away from the freezing or the too hot elements and all that. So we did this by removing it, expanding the, the tall part of the bus, the back, a little bit over. Is a, is, the tank is 180, 190 gallons of gray water. And uh, on top of that, we're gonna have also the the shower and also the the tower that has the washer and dryer uh, unit. This was a massive project as usual. I don't understand a lot about welding and a bunch of things that I had to do, but I was brave enough and watched some YouTube videos and uh, remember a little bit of the lessons that Wes uh, gave to me when, when we were together here on welding and how to weld this thing. The thing did not come out like super perfect, but it, it was strong enough. And then uh, we, we had to treat uh, all this new infrastructure of the, the metal part and then cover the whole thing with some uh, naval plywood, also treating the plywood in there. So uh, it was a lot of work. You, I'm sure you're going to see me sweating all over this video. So come with us. Let's do it. <laughs> Today is a really hot day here. Uh, it's around, I don't know, 85 already. But uh, today we're gonna attempt to remove this uh, kind of uh, extinguisher, a fire extinguisher. There is like a, an original system on the bus that places like a tiny extinguisher that connects to the back of the bus. Um, I don't know if it's just compliance, but it, it, it looks like it's very unlikely to prevent any real fire in the engine bay just for the size of the cylinder and, and some uh, other fire situations that I've seen before but anyway uh, I'm gonna find another solution for that for now I'm going to attempt to remove uh, those two steps and just kind of like move further back the original level of the bus like the, the kind of two thirds of the, the level that is higher internally so I'm gonna try to show that to you guys, but uh, it's a very tight corner so far. So uh, if we don't get a good view, <laughs> I'm sorry.
routing table. So I'm gonna have to do this on the floor. And it's been a minute since I used this machine. So I'm gonna play a little bit around with, uh, with another piece here to find the, the correct settings. And then I'm gonna try to go uh, in well this one. This is kind of the angle that this is going to be. So let's run some tests. So today is another day here, uh, still working on this. Um, it takes a lot more time than I, I thought it would. Uh, I think it's just the nature of like measuring and, and measuring again and cutting a little bit. You can always cut more, but if you cut too much, then you're gonna, you're gonna have to weld something back up. So uh, I, I try to go like cutting uh, a little bit less than I think uh, I should at first um, just to, to try out some stuff again I'm no professional on this at all uh, but it's coming out great <clears throat> I did frame this uh, in the last the last day that I was working on this like two three days ago but uh, I had to take a break for work related stuff Today I'm back at it. So I just cut a little piece that is this uh, angle. I think this is around one and a half or two by two and a half, three uh, on this end. I'm doing this because I have a gap in here. And if I'm going to lay uh, down one piece of plywood in this area, I would, I would love to have no gaps in between here. So when I lay this down, I can put some uh, some special uh, 3M product here, just uh, like they used originally on the bus. So it, it held amazingly well for 20, 22 years. So I'm gonna use the same product uh, and, and just try to make this thing watertight because uh, there will be a lot of debris, water, and whatever is on the road uh, trying to come up this way. So I cut this piece here and then I'm gonna try to like fit in here and then I have this shorter one and a quarter inch angle that I'm going to use on this side just because I don't need as much uh, uh, I don't need as much material on the flat part of this against the floor because I have just this kind of like a, a base column right here and I'm just gonna put some rivets uh, against this thing. So let's see how, how I'm doing here. All right, that was a success. The right side of this is ready. Now I just have to complete uh, this section here and this section here, and then I can drop uh, two pieces of uh, naval plywood, one here and one here, and then this section is going to be done. Then 
I have to do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> So today I'm going to be applying this uh, this product here. I think it's called Osfo, uh, and it's just like a, a chemical product to prepare uh, a metal for for paint, and uh, basically it stops any rust that it finds on the way. It kind of seals the metal uh, against the, the future possibility. So you usually apply this thing and you wait uh, some hours until it dries. If there is a rust in there, it transforms into this like kind of powder, black powder stuff that you can just clean off with a wire brush. Uh, or in, in where you don't have this uh, rust, it basically uh, creates this coat that you can, uh, you can just paint over it. It's kind of a, I think it's a chemical etching. That's what, what, it, what it does. Uh, but it's kind of very, uh, it's kind of dangerous uh, and the fumes are not good. So uh, you, you kind of need protection to apply this thing. So I'm gonna apply this uh, with a brush uh, here. And then uh, I'm gonna use like just a little cup that I actually brought uh, from the Alcatraz uh, visit to the prison uh, in San Francisco. Um, Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. So today, uh, today I'm gonna start cutting some pieces to cover these holes. Uh, you guys remember this? We we did this the other day. Uh, all this metal infrastructure is painted black here. So I'm gonna start cutting these pieces here for this one, the top, this small one here, one in the back right there, this big one in that back. Uh, start coughing up this holes. So let's do it. day here uh, in the bus and I'm let me go back and show you I'm, I'm working on this panels uh, so to cover up those areas and um, I got them cut it uh, it required like a lot of 
very little cuts and then I apply some um, they call a weather weather sealant I don't know it's just mainly like a sealer for wood but they are they, the main focus was on I don't have the product here anymore but the main focus was on uh, water uh, and humidity and preventing that so I could put a rubberized uh, layer on top of that and that's usually the stuff that they apply under cars and uh, whatever so this is I didn't show you guys the the whole process because I, I got admit I got uh, I got excited and then I had to run to the store as usual like five times in a day to pick up some stuff and forgot some stuff and it was not enough uh, uh, rubberized coat and whatever so um, sorry about that but this is the end result so uh, those are like the individual panels and then I'm gonna get the small one uh, there's some notches here that I did for like to conform uh, with whatever is going on there uh, and you can see on this side that's the side that's going to be in in the inside of the bus there's just the sealer um, I didn't think I wanted to add this extra chemical layer of rubberized stuff in here when you apply this stuff it's kind of like I don't know it feels very very chemical uh, and uh, it, it does not smell good at all even now it's dry for like 24 hours it still does not smell good so uh, it, sh it should be good for longevity but it's definitely not good to to have this inside of the bus so I just put this one this is water based and this basically is going to seal the, uh, the wood up on the inside I'm going to put some uh, insulation on this anyway uh, so I'm not really concerned about this but this is kind of like the first layer was that one and then I applied kind of like two coats of this rubberized stuff uh, try to go the first one kind of like thin and then go with another one uh, on top of it should just like try to get all the little uh, corners and um, yeah and then I'm going to apply I'm gonna take you guys in there you see this mass in here so messy and you get rid of all this stuff but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply on the corners uh, all these corners here um, I'm going to apply this uh, Sika Flex uh, Marine Sealer in there. So whatever is coming from the outside uh, is going to, I hope it's going to stop right there. And uh, everything else is going to be stopped by this rubberized layer. I'm kind of trying to follow the same thing that is being on those uh, panels because those are like uh, plywood with the same kind of layers that I'm using and uh, removing those uh, from from there from the spots that I removed they were pretty much uh, great uh, there was no they were not rotten they were not there was nothing wrong with them uh, so and I think you can see in this because I, I have a, a, a cross cut here uh, from the floor you can see that this is is 20 22 years old it's been here forever and uh, and whatever I cut off it was exactly like that so uh, this this plywood looks great stuff too I couldn't find obviously this plywood but um, I think what I have is gonna be good enough so they did the same thing and under they they applied this rubberized black coat uh, and you, you held up really well so this is what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna try to fit this in here I'm gonna pre-drill some holes um, kind of a pallet hole and then I'm gonna use this screws um, uh, they say no pre-drilling but I'm gonna pre-drill anyway uh, and uh, they're external grade and they can bite into that metal uh, and, and become flush into this uh, side of the plywood. All right, let's do it.
Yes, voila, it's done now.